What's going on, everybody? Isaac here. Today, I want to tell you about the Colonial Mark I Navy Deck Knife. They produced these for the Navy in World War II and still make them today to the same specs uh, demanded by the Department of Defense back in the 1940s for official issues to the Navy in World War II. So we got a leather sheath here. It's embossed USN for United States Navy. Got a very generous belt loop here. Got to fit over that uh, military webbing belt and snap closure. Leather sheath holds this knife pretty good. And it's got, they put this uh, OD green paracord lanyard on there. And you can strap that down to your leg if you so wish. Uh, sheath seems pretty nice uh, they got you know it's stitched here as well as rivets so take it out we got uh, I think a five and a quarter inch blade and the handle is black tenite which is a kind of a trademarked uh, polymer material here it's you know it's it's solid. Uh, it's made of 1075 steel and has a black parkerized finish. And it weighs in at like, I think, I think the official weight was like 4.7 ounces. So under five ounces for a, you know, 10 inch overall length knife. It's pretty good. Very, very generous uh, handle here. So, you know, five inch blade, five inch handle very good and it's you know it's got the look of like the the stacked leather of the the k bar and gives a secure grip so now they use these in world war ii not really as a combat knife this was the navy deck knife not the navy mark ii k bar fighting knife you know this was meant to you know handle chores on a ship from you know, munition stuff to working with dunnage down in the cargo hold of ships to cutting, you know, different rope and cord that ships have. So it's an all-purpose utility knife. But, you know, heck, if it wouldn't make a great outdoors knife today, you know, not too many of us joining the Navy at the moment. I don't think. Maybe you are. If you are, props to you. Maybe you get one. <laughs> Now, I don't think they have issued this in many years. They have the the Mark III Navy knife now and have for like 40 years. But it's got a Tang stamp there. Uh, okay, light that up. It says Colonial, Providence, Rhode Island, and USN for U.S. Navy on this side. Now, vintage World War II, um, those stamps would be switched to the opposite side so the usn would be over here and they do that to you know keep producing these to world war ii mil spec and not you know, mess up the you know vintage collectible market so nobody can claim that this you know was a vintage world war ii issued blade and they come with a blunted tip on them because you know they, they sound their the colonial website these were not combat knives you know, but uh, I ground this one down a little bit to give it a give it a tip, so I could use it to you know, puncture if need be. Um, Tom Ritter sent me this to play around with, so thank you very much, Tom. Uh, this is quite uh, an enjoyable knife here from Colonial, as I, as I mentioned, you know, before it's it's super lightweight. Um, it is not full tang, so the tang is probably like three quarters. If you go to uh, the Colonial Knife Company website, you can they actually have some some photos on the uh, page for this blade where you can you can see the tang. They have it they have it uh, unhoused, I guess we'll we'll call it. So you can see that, and I think it gives it gives this you know small small finger guard there. So. I don't think you'll really slip up unless you 
really are going at it. So again, it will be a great outdoor companion knife for on your belt. Oh, it's lightweight, great for hiking, your bug out knife. They even say that uh, on the website, best bug out knife. Yeah, man. If you're going lightweight, check this out. Again, this is the Colonial Mark I Navy Deck Knife made to the same specs demanded by the Department of Defense in World War II. Take it easy. See you on the next video.